focus just on pretty wet. Know where he at? Cause I'm tryna make a. back with another video i had a lot of people saying my first video was funny i'm glad you guys enjoyed and if you subscribe i do thank you guys for subscribing to my channel and if there's anything in the world you could do you're here with me watching this video um i received a lot of requests to do a makeup tutorial so on that note i'm gonna do a valentine's day inspired makeup look so stay tuned, and before you continue watching this video, make sure you subscribe to your girl's channel. You know I need all the love. So subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to see the transformation from blah to that sexy bitch for Valentine's Day. So first I'm gonna start with my eyebrows. You want to line your brows with the definition.
So guys, as you see on this next slide, you're going to realize that I'm taking my concealer on my brush. You want it to be light so that when you cut that crease, it's not messy. Y'all know, if y'all know y'all some girls into some makeup, y'all know y'all can't deal with a messy crease. So as you see, I'm lining my eyes, just trying to follow my eyes because I got very hooded eyes. So it's a little bit more difficult for me to cut my crease for you to see it. And I'm going to take a little bit more to finish the line so I can mimic it. And then shortly, you'll see me cut the same way on the next eye. You see, you want to take it so that it's matching that other eye. You're going to cut it the same way. Now, just because I drew a line don't mean I must draw a line. I'm going to color this all out, ladies and gents, whoever's watching. You're going to see me cut, and then I'm going to eventually color in on that cut. Just got to make sure them shits is matching, okay? You want them to be sisters, not fraternal twins, all right? I'm going to do that on the same eye. You're going to see me start patting in that light concealer into that eye. And if anyone wants to know what concealer I used, I used Tarte Shape Tape. And I believe the color is medium sand, color 345. So if you are my complexion, feel free to use that. When I tell you that concealer is bomb, you'll see it is bomb. And it stays too. It blends well. And it's good. So I'm about finished cutting that crease. I didn't do a full cut crease. I just wanted to do a half cut crease because I have small eyes. So I'm not trying to swallow them up, you know. And I'm going to basically mimic and lightly dab just like I did on the other eye. I'm going to do the same to this one. And I'm going to blend that out. Guess what? When you put anything over that concealer, it's gonna be looking like a bumpy road. And if you're from New York, you know them potholes. You don't want your eyeshadow looking like potholes, okay? Blend it so that it's smooth and silky looking. So when you do do your cut crease, it's beat hunty. You want it to be smooth like butter, okay? You just want to pat that into that outer lid. Next comes setting. You want to set that concealer on your eyes. You do not want it sweating off. So I went in with my Lord Marcier translucent powder in the shade 
think it's medium. It's the brand new one, guys. It's the brand new translucent powder, and it's called Honey. If you don't know where you can get it, you can get it in any makeup store that sells high-end makeup. I got mine from Sephora. But if you don't have a Sephora near you, there's other makeup stores that sell this brand. And honey, when I tell you I love it because it keeps your makeup on, I freaking love this concealer, this powder. So you see me dabbing that in because I don't want it to be ashy. I just need it to, to set my concealer. Okay. And if you're still watching up to this point, I really thank y'all because you could have been doing anything else in the world. Instead, you're watching this video. So you're going to watch me go from black to that good as looking honey bun that you want to see up in the street. You want to go from ugly to sexy. Okay. Now, as you see, I'm just buffing it out to get all that excess powder off. I don't want none of that in my makeup. And I'm going to go in with this powder. I can't remember the name. Excuse me, because I got this a really long time ago. But it's from Sephora. And I went in with, like, this rose gold champagne kind of color for the cut crease. Because I wanted that metallic look. So we're going to speed things up. So guys, I know you're probably wondering what palette I used. So that light pink that I used on my eyes, because I wanted to create this ombre effect, this Valentine's Day, so I wanted to color all the colors. I used the James, pa James Charles palette, excuse me. And I used um, this neon pink color. That, sorry, I can't really give you the name of the colors because they're not named. But I used the uh, neon pink to kind of create symmetry between the light and the dark color and then on that dark perp that dark purple I kind of mixed my morphe palette um the natural glow palette 350 and let's not stop there because I also used the Too Faced chocolate bar palette and bonbons and I used I'll tell you what color I used and I went in with the color Bordex, Bordex, I think that's how you say it, to kind of darken out that outer line. And then I went in with my Too Faced Natural Lust palette. Girl, this is my favorite. And I went in with the Hot, hot to Trot color and the Pen Down color. This is a dark purple. And that's what I used in the outer crease. So as you see, I'm about to go on my NYX glitter glue. And I'm going to take that on my thin liner brush and kind of go around to define that cut crease. Then I'm going to go in on the glitter line that I just created with the NYX Loose Glitter. I forgot what color this is called, but this is my favorite. It's just like bedazzles. And remember, what you do to one eye, you must repeat to the other. So I'm going to go in, fast forward, and get this other eye done. Stay tuned.
So now guys, I'm using foundation from Becca Cosmetics in the shade Maple Fuzz Brown Ladies. Um, I think I like it because I have more of like a mixed texture toned skin rather. And so it's very hard for me to find a foundation. This was finally the foundation that matched my skin. Now I know it looks orange, but it this foundation oxidizes, so you don't have to worry about it looking orange once you finish. It's gonna end up blending into my skin. You'll see later on. Now I wet my beauty blender, but not that it's soaking wet, so that it's damp, so that when you do smooth out this makeup, as you see how smooth it's going on, it doesn't look rough, and it doesn't leave little scrapes like certain brushes do, where as soon as you wipe, it leaves a brush, a, a brush stroke. So, I love the beauty blender, and this is the actual beauty blender by beauty blender, <laughs> name brand, and it's phenomenal. Like, look how that makeup is going on my face. And I do love this makeup too because it's full coverage and it's also for oily skin. So if you're if you have really oily skin like me, you this would be a ideal makeup for you. So as you see, I am now starting to contour my face. I put the Tarte Shape Tape under my eyes, but that is not all that I used. I also used the Fendi Fenty Matchsticks, and I used the color Caramel under the eyes as well. And I'm going to set all my T-zones. As you see, I'm going in with the dark color now, and I also am the shade Truffle, which I freaking love, by Fenty. So shout out to my girl Riri. This right here is the best way to contour your face. So when you finish baking, make sure you get all that excess translucent powder off your face because where some females mess up is you leaving all that extra powder on your face and it calls flashback. If you don't know what flashback is, is you take pictures and people take a picture, you use the flash and you look like a ghost. You disappear and look like a ghost. Ain't nobody trying to look ghostly, okay? You want to look uniform. You want to be able to take beat pictures in the light and in the dark and have somebody take a picture of you with the flash on and you not look like Casper the Ghost. So, FYI, get all that access off. You see me trying to get that access off because I don't place that.
So I'm going in with some red liner just to add a touch of red to my eyes on that lash line just to create a little bit of some dramat dramatics, okay? Something new. So now I'm gonna go in with some blush. You know, you girl gotta put some color in these cheeks, give it some character. So I went in with the BH Cosmetics blush called Glamour Blush. It's a 10 color palette. And I use this rosy color. It's more of a peach color. I wanted a neutral glam kind of highlighter color. So that's what I went in with just to give those cheeks some bounce, baby. You want to now go ahead and smoke out that bottom lash line to add some more drama to get those big eye to get that big eye look. Listen, I got very small eyes, they're hoodies, so I do anything I can to make my eyes look a little bit bigger and draw more attention to my eyes. So I took that purple color I used earlier on my eyes and I just used that to smoke out that bottom lash line, all right? So as you see, I'm about to put on my lashes. If you want the intake on these lashes, hunty, I love them. These are the Lily Lashes and Sephora brand. When I tell you these shits is awesome, man, you want those lashes that not too much, but they still the right dramatic. Cop those Lily Lashes from Sephora. Set, set. Set that face, honey. You do not want to melt in your man arms. Get the finish look. But I'm going to come back once I finish my hair. Because it ain't a finish look if the hair ain't done. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. With the final look. Guys, I'm loving it. Okay, you know, I had to throw on a birthday wig real quick because I thought it was only right. It's Valentine's Day. You know, purple is one of those colors. And I also thought it would bring out this look. It's something dramatic. I did something out of my comfort zone that I don't normally do. Um, You see the eyes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I did a little ombre look. I just freehand this. I didn't know what I was going to do before this video. So. I'm hoping you guys love this look. If you want to see more makeup tutorials, just make sure you comment below. Let me know what type of look you want me to do. If you want me to do more story times, put that in the comments below. But make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to your girl's channel. And you stay tuned for more videos. Bye.